Bora TV. The world is thinking. My first experience with spirituality was with LSD when I was 17. So, um, you know, I can honestly say that it was my first um, kind of excursion into other dimensions. Uh, I do not recommend recreational drugs because they can damage the nervous system. And yet there are, there are traditions um, in the world, particularly American Indian traditions, and also traditions amongst the Aborigines in Australia, and traditions even in India. You know, when I was, actually this is very interesting, Lata, when I was going to, you know, we were going to Haridwar with the ashes of my parents, um, my father who had just died, so we were taking the ashes to Haridwar, and um, my brother and I, my brother was the, now the Dean of Medical Education at Harvard Medical School. He and I, when we had the ashes of my father, and we were going in this taxi up to Haridwar, and we saw these sadhus, you know, sadhus are Indian holy men, and they looked totally stoned, okay? So my brother asked the taxi driver, our car driver, what are they taking? And he said, ganja, sir, ganja. So my brother said, can we get some? He said, no, you have to be enlightened to get it. <laughs> So even in India, there's a tradition, actually, uh, amongst these swamis, these danda swamis and other sadhus, where they take. But, you know, the, the people who take those recreational drugs, they're not recreational. They're part of a ritual. And according to anthropologists, when you use these substances that have been used for thousands of years as part of a ritual, uh, they're under shamanic uh, supervision, they shift you, they trap your energy, they release your energy along certain lines. So I would not recommend anyone in this room try it on their own. If you really want to try it, then go to South America, go to Peru, look for a really authentic shaman who does these rituals.